Now we're going to add a camera view to our drawing as well as some terrain. So the first thing I'm going to do is in my project browser, I'm going to go to my entry level two plan by double clicking on it. And I can't see anything right now because I currently have nothing drawn on this view. If that bugs you like it does me, you can scroll down in your properties bar so you get to underlay. And then you can say, I want to see instead of a range of none, I'm going to change its underlay range to lower level. So I can at least see kind of about where my house is. Then in the view tab, I'm going to click on a drop down from the 3D view and choose the camera option. You can also in the quick toolbar click a drop down from the 3D view and get the camera. And I'm going to place my camera from kind of the top left or top right, excuse me, and then move my cursor over and click again to make my camera. If my camera doesn't isn't placed exactly how I want it to be, I can click on the edge of it and go back into the level two floor plan and I can move it. So I can move it back if I want to, or I can move it around. And then I have this 3D views area where I can double click and I can look at it 3D from a 3D perspective. Personally, I don't like looking at it this way too much. I prefer just from a regular 3D view where I can orbit around. And that's just clicking on this little house button here, where then I can kind of move myself around a little bit. Your view that you place like this, your camera place view, might look a little different than mine. And that's okay. So I'm going to rename this view by right clicking on it in the project browser, rename, and I'm going to rename it to building, and hit enter. Next, I'm going to start adding my terrain. So in the project browser, under floor plan, I'm going to double click on site. And then I'm going to go to the Massing and Site tab and click on Topo Surface. For my elevations options, I'm going to start with negative six inches. So for elevation, I'm going to type in negative zero, space six, enter. And I'm going to place several points to the left side of the building, like so. One, two, three four, five. Then I'm going to change an elevation to negative 10. So I'm going to highlight all of it and type in negative 10 for negative 10 feet. Enter. And I'm going to place those points kind of directly in the center-ish of the building. It doesn't have to be exact. And then I'm going to place another line of elevation marker at negative 11 feet. I'm going to highlight my elevation height, negative 11, enter, and I'm going to click here to the right of the building. Once I have all of my elevation marks how I want them to, I'm going to check off to finish the surface. Next, I'm going to create a building pad. I'm going to scroll in to zoom in on my building a little bit. And in this Massing and Site tab, I'm going to select Building Pad. And for my drawing options, I'm going to use a rectangle. And I'm just going to draw a rectangle from my bottom left corner all the way to my upper right corner. I'm going to click OK. K or the green check mark. What a building pad does is it essentially excavates the entire site out from where your building is. Now I'm going to go into my 3D mode so I can kind of see the results 
of my site as well as my building pad of how it's kind of dug out. You can also go into the two building ones just to kind of see it three-dimensionally a little bit. And, of course, I'm going to save. 